Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. If you're joining me live this afternoon, it's Tuesday the 4th of August and I'm running through my paper shares to show you all the papers and the embellishments in the new um, August to December catalogue. I tend to call it the Christmas catalogue because it's mostly all about Christmas. Um, but I know, hi Laura, other people, well officially it's called the August to December catalogue which for me is a bit of a mouthful. So I thought as it's the live date I would go through all of the details. So the new catalogue is now live as from today. So all of the items in there with the exception of the mini and the large stamp and cut and emboss die cutting machine are available to order as from now. If you earned any bonus vouchers with me or with another demonstrator during the month of July, then don't forget you can use those. Oops. So hi to Claire, hi to Tracy, um, and hi obviously to Laura. So let us get cracking. So this is the page with all the information on. I'll just wait for that to come up. And basically my paper shares are split into three sections this month. So we have the designer papers, we have the specialty papers, and then we have the embellishments. So there's three sets of those and I have prices for having them collected from me but also being delivered so if you live in the UK but you're not close enough to collect from me the second of these prices is the delivered price so the designer papers which I'll show you first for the whole pack is £36 or £39 posted delivered to you specialty pack which includes things like the foil the vellums and the felt are 15 pounds and then 17 pounds delivered and then finally the embellishments are 14 pounds or 16 pounds delivered if you want all of those then I'm offering free delivery if you purchase all three obviously at the same time and I run my paper shares normally for the opening month of the catalogue so these paper shares will run till the end of August so let's get cracking and show you our fab papers I'm going to leave that there to remind me because I haven't got all the names of all the papers yet I haven't quite sussed it out Hi Carol, thanks for joining us. I love it. So this is the paper share as um, you would receive it. So what I've done is I've cut the 12 by 12 papers down to 6 inches by 12 inches so that you can get at least three standard card bases out of any one sheet and you can see there's a whole stack there and then obviously the six by six inch papers are still six by six inch they haven't been cut down and in each one of those you've got one each of the papers so 12 papers in total for each one so let's start at the beginning so the first one we have is the heartwarming hugs there we go so 
you have six sheets of paper so this is traditional red green black and white but they're quite modern designs so nice and quirky so we've got stripes checks hound's tooth dots more stripes and some gingham so all of these papers are double sided so that is one side and then these are the other side so really pretty sort of real red garden green bit of pear pizzazz in there really pretty so these are great for small strips of card or to go on small cards because the design is quite small so that is called heartwarming hugs okay and that's the first of the papers in your catalogue so if you go through the catalogue in order this is the first set of papers you'll come across so really pretty um, not necessarily Christmas either because they don't feature any um, Christmas images I suppose the closest would be this one um, but even then it's not proper sort of mistletoe or anything so I reckon you could use those for almost anything any combination so that's heartwarming hugs and you get six sheets of those and those are double sided Hi Carol with an E. <laughs> Thanks for joining me again. The next one we have is Poinsettia Place. And these are lovely cream, white and green and obviously the red. So again you have six of these. So I'm hoping this is um, good enough definition for you. And I'm trying a new feature out, see whether it works. We'll find out in a minute. So here we go, reds and greens. So these are really pretty poinsettias in cream and white. We have fir cones, holly, more fir cones, and more poinsettias with the green. So, I popped up a poll there. I'm glad it worked. So, I'd love to know what are your favourite Christmas colours. You only need to choose one. So, are you a traditional red, green, gold? Are you a blue, silver? Or are you a purple and silver? Of course, you could be something else. But I'd love to know what your favourite colours are. Okay, so that's one side of the poinsettias. This is the reverse. So we have a wood grain. We've got these very delicate little leaves. Poinsettias in white and cream. The plain green. And then we have the fur and then more green as well so very traditional um, poinsettias but again you could get away with these being apart from this one non-christmas they would make great men's card designs okay so that is poinsettia place the next one we have is bright, brightly gleaming, oh, brightly gleaming. This is a specialty paper in that it has um, some embossing. Now we did have this one available last year. It was so popular, along with the stamp set and the punches, that we brought it back for another year. So you, if you are shopping with me this time last year, then you'll recognise this. So. It's got some foiling in it and we've got 
the baubles and then this is navy we've got the stars pretty peacock with the foiling holly an old olive and then a mixture of the blues there with the foiling and then the reverse of those we've got the garden green uh, sorry mossy meadow we've got the stripes we've got the navy this is one of my favorites you might remember me using this so pretty peacock with those really pretty holly in in um, vanilla little stars and then a sort of um, twirl design so that is brightly gleaming so the next one we have is called trimming the town and this has a fantastic set of stamps and dies to go with it and some of these houses oh so that was interesting the majority were red green gold in fact everybody was red green gold by looks of things Oh no, one person for blue silver, one person for purple silver, and the rest were red, green, green, gold. Okay, so here we have um, trimming the town. So we've got these lovely houses that you could cut out of the papers. You've got a smaller version of that. You've got a fantastic scene. We've got little fir trees, little people, if you can see that, cute. And then finally, we've got all of these words. And what's nice about this is you could cut this easily into strips on your trimmer. And then you could cut out either just the English ones or you could cut out the English, the French, um, German, I'm not sure if there's anything else. So we've got a mixture of um, capitals and then so deck of the halls for example, season of cheer and then we've got um, the italics, so I can find one now. dashing through the snow there's the little one in there Christmas cheer so these would be great for youngsters because you could trim them into strips for them and they could just cut up the messages and they could just dot the messages along so that's called trimming the town let me show you the reverse of it so here we've got stripes snowflakes um scribbles <laughs> polka dots and then this one with the green and white stripe and then finally the wreaths okay so that is called trimming the town for the great scene on there Anybody seen any favourites yet? Okay, the next one is Wonder of the Season. This is a specialty one that has um, foiling. Now, I'm not sure that you can see that, but this is red foiled. You can see it better on here. So they're like um, adverts and things like that. And then also gold foil okay this is on one side 
so you get six in total some are red foiling and some is gold like so and then on the reverse of that it's black and white okay let's just turn that over so we've got stories and poems so we've got the night before christmas the wording as i say adverts you've got a recipe for hot chocolate etc so six of those and that is called tis of the season no wonder of the season i beg your pardon that's these ones here the next one is a six by six set of papers hi Maretta. that's these ones here this is tis the season and traditional red and green basically holly so you get 12 of these um red pattern fur um fur leaves i'm trying to think what the word is <laughs> i can't think of it branches of fur red with a crisscross diamond pattern some flowers a plain um sort of red almost damask pattern green so this is garden green and cherry cobbler i believe with a little bit of white this is cute with the mistletoe little um sort of floral design snowflakes plain green and then the mistletoe in the white on green so um similar to that one so that is one side you get 12 of those and then on the other side i'll put these out one at a time we've got deer fur and holly red dots the bells this goes with the stamp set that has um large bells on it holly on red fir trees candy canes a little bit of plaid and all over red and white all over green little swirls and candy canes again so if you don't like candy canes you can use obviously the reverse sides of any of those so it's not very highly um american but there's a nice mix in there red green and white and that's called tis the season so that's six by six papers and you get 12 of those right twirl tidings this is another one we had last year which was very popular and what i like about this is you've got green on one side and red on the reverse so this features scenes and it's not houndstooth it'll come to me in a minute a checker a checkerboard effect more scenes and then on the other side of these you have the same thing in red so i'll turn these over you'll see the other side so this one's slightly bizarre because it's got foxes bears rabbits and deer so i think we've covered most most of the continents there so red on one side green on the other so if i just switch these over you'll see the reverse side this one is quite traditionally a bit more traditionally english as is this one and then you've got mistletoe and flowers a bit of poinsettia in there and then a set of animals so six sheets of those this is very vanilla 
with real red and garden green and that's called Toil Tidings. Alright, okay, back to some new ones. This will be, I think, one of the most popular. This is called Snowflake Splendour and it has a stunning stamp set and a stunning set of dies to go with it. So I'll show you one side first. So six sheets of this and a nice mix of blues as well with a little bit of Highland Heather thrown in. So these are watercolour designs that were painted by our designers and then photographed and then they you know manipulated them and changed the sizes and changed the colours so look at that one gorgeous background so six of those that's one side and I'll turn these over so snowflake splendour if you like snowflakes this is definitely the one for you so we've got an all over pattern design we've got that similar thing but with small snowflakes larger ones here this one with you can see the highland heather coming in so this would easily make as I say three standard cards or two six inch cards Oops, sorry and then there's that one there as well so six sheets of that and then we have one set of Halloween papers this is set here this is called magic in the night and it is Halloween but each one has something on the other side that you could use that is non-Halloween so very decorative bats we have some stripes we have more bats if you don't like spiders look away now and then this stunning flowers a bit like the beautiful friendship flowers and then this one here with sort of medallions very intricate and then on the reverse side of these we have the medallions again in Cajun craze this stunning floral another large floral one and I've seen people people color these sections in a black sort of harlequin effect pretty peacock and then all the colors together so pretty peacock Cajun craze and I think that could be blackberry bliss as well as the black so that is called a magic in the night and you get six of those Now that's telling me Facebook has stopped, but I think it's still going. Perhaps you could comment if it's still working, because it's just come up with a message to say it's stopped. So I'm going to carry on, knowing that I got to that point. okay this is one of my favorites this is gilded autumn and exactly as you would expect it's got gilding in in terms of bronze and copper and gold and it's very much autumn and harvest and things like that so this is on um, very vanilla and it's one of our specialty papers so we have this one here we have this one here in just jade that lovely background we do have um, a harvest one with pumpkins and gourds and things like that this one with the blues 
and then this one with acorns and maple leaves and leaves and then finally we have the stripes in espresso and crumb cake now you know why I like these it's got espresso and crumb cake in it if I turn them over you can see the reverse so we have stripes I love this colour combination houndstooth just a speckled background we then have this lovely dots and dashes in gold this stunning Cajun craze petal effect and the acorns maple leaves and leaves but this time in the embossed effect so this is called Gilded Autumn and I've just got two more sets of papers hi Annette hi Pauline oh thank you I'm glad it's still working so I have two more sets of six by six papers this is feels like frost and this is another set that we had last Christmas that was so popular because you could just cut that down add some glitter and a sentiment and your card is good to go and on the reverse side it's all foiled so let me show you the photographic side first so this is feels like frost and obviously only of these you can order as a plain paper packet on its own if you want so we have scenes so you have 12 of these all together beautiful photographic images this is one I used last year and I remember we just in class we just added glitter along the edges to make it look like frost hence the name feels like frost so there's 12 of these all together So some of them are scenes, so you could stamp the rabbit or a deer onto there, or use a die cut. This one I like with the sort of purple on it, and this one too. So that's just one side, so you get 12 of those in my paper share, but if you bought a pack, you get 48 sheets altogether. Hi Pauline! so here we go these are the silver foiled size sides with white just stunning and you only need a little bit of this to make a really effective card so you've got two sides you've got the photographic side and then you've got this stunning foiled side So 12 sheets of that. And there we go. So that's the white and silver side. And then on the other, you've got the photographic images. That's called Fields Like Frost. And then the final one is the Plaid Tidings paper. So this is another 6x6 six six paper. So all of the standard papers are £10.75 for the pack. But if you have a specialty one that has foiling, then those are £14 for the pack. And then in my paper share, you can have everything that I've shown you for £36, which is basically a quarter of each pack. So let me show you the last ones in here. So this is plaid tidings, as you can see, plaids of every design and colour, small ones, larger ones, so great for men's cards, even outside of Christmas. These really don't have to be Christmas designs. So 
a bit of red, pink and white. And this one with the crumb cake, so that's quite Christmas colours. And then on the reverse of those are more plants, <laughs> basically. So that'll be one for Carol, because that's oranges and yellows. Hello, Verity. Thanks for joining us. Some sort of ones on the diagonal in reds. Smoky slates and grey granite. A bit of pretty peacock. A bit of blackberry bliss. Traditional. Nice, I like this one. Bumblebee. Crumb cake. Bit of everything on that one. That one, and then traditional black and white. So 12. 12 different sheets each one is double sided with a different one on each side and that's called plaid tidings so those are all of the papers in my designer papers product share so a quarter of each of the packs of all of those exactly as you've seen 36 pounds for the pack 39 pounds if you need it posted let me just put the stack back up so you can see how many you get. <laughs> so you're getting all of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, whoops, 12. So you're getting 12, effectively 12 packs of paper, a quarter of each one. So each one is actually 12, the equivalent of 12 sheets of 6 by 6, so 144 equivalent sheets of this size. Okay, um, so something different for this time, which is the specialty pack. So this can um, obviously be purchased alongside the other pack or just on its own. And I have one apology to make because there is something missing from this pack and that's because I thought I'd ordered the black glimmer paper to discover that I had black foil instead so I have ordered the black glimmer to make up another pack so we have in our specialty pack red and green foil so you get a 6 inch by 12 inch piece perfect obviously for die cutting okay so it's a nice foil quite a good weight and it's single sided we then have this amazing plush poinsettia vellum. So you get one sheet, six by 12, of each of these. And it's um, like a flock, well it is a flock, on vellum. So you can colour on the reverse, but you can also colour in these petals as well if you wanted to so a nice weight it is vellum on the back so if you don't like the um, flock just use it on the reverse okay so that's that one we have to have some glitter paper so this is our balmy blue and it's a non-shedding glitter so it's really stunning but it doesn't shed okay and it's the same as the black so the black is the same as that but obviously in black goes without saying doesn't it we then have some felt so you get four pieces of felt this is three inches by six inches and you have them in just jade white real red and espresso and these are perfect if you're using die cuts 
because obviously you can use the red for poinsettias you can use this for leaves you can make up little brooches for example with it or you could just cut out standard leaves with it using a, a die cutter obviously you can cut it out with scissors so you could draw on it and cut round it but you wouldn't be able to use it in a punch for example so that's the festive felt this is fabulous so this is red velvet paper so it is a paper so you can punch it but this makes stunning poinsettias um, you can't really see you just have to take my word for it that it's like a velvet um, but it will punch through on the punches and then finally we have three sheets six inches by 12 inches of our brushed metallic card so exactly as it says it's brushed metallic in three colors so you get a bronze a sort of champagne color and a gold it's white on the reverse again you can punch it or you can use it with die cuts or you can just cut it out and use it as strips so that is our specialty pack plus the black glimmer paper and that one is 15 pounds for all of those or 17 if you would like it posted to you so that's a specialty pack and then finally i'll come on to the embellishments so what do you like so far thank you verity the plaid's nice and the vellum yeah the felt is fun right so for the embellishments i've had to put them on here so i don't lose them all so what i've done is i've taken a quarter or a third of a pack however best they cut up so the first things we have are our star ornaments so you get three of these they're lightweight and they are threaded with um, a silver cord so these you could add to make little charms obviously for your cards you can make a scissor charm out of them um, you could also use them to suspend in the center of a card with an aperture in so you had a, like a spinning um, star ornament we then have four of these stunning beaded pearls now these are metal with little beads in as you can see and they're flat backed they don't have any glue but you could use either wet glue or glue dots and they are perfect for the inside of poinsettias if you can imagine if you can imagine this cut out with the poinsettia dies and embossed with that in the center how fantastic would that look you could almost do a table decoration with that and you can emboss with it as well so you can put it through an embossing folder and get an embossed effect oh exactly as, as uh, Verity said okay uh, next we have the jingle bells and these do ring you'll get two red two green and two gold ones and again you could suspend them on a card you could make them into charms um, you could add them onto gift tags but they all ring in their own right very sweet they're not too heavy either i think they are they are metal but they're very light so like an aluminium so they wouldn't add too much weight they will obviously add height though to any cards we then have the wonderful gems which are these here let's move that out of the way and you get these in two colors and they are um, self-adhesive with glue dots on the back and I know it's quite difficult for you to see but this is clear with a gold sparkle and then this has a red 
with a little sparkle in it as well. You get 20 of those, you get 10 each of those two colours. Then we have these lovely blue gems. So these are faceted gems. You get 24 of these and you've got like a peacock colour and then a balmy blue colour. So these look look great with the snowflakes, obviously, because you're um, matching those up with the snowflake papers. You then get these fabulous acorn trinkets. So you get five of these. So you could do sort of a three and a two. Now these are metal and they're actually quite heavy in the scheme of things. You can hear them. So um, they'd be good on special cards just attached to a little bit of linen thread, um, especially using the um, acorn papers. They'd be really nice. So that's the acorn trinkets. We then have the iridescent pearls. And I don't know if you can see that with this light, but they change colour. So they're sort of blues, purples, greens, a little bit of red, depending on the light. And you get, just counting those up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 28 of those all together. And last but not least, you get these, all of the trimmings. And these have got some circles, some stars in two different sizes of circles in red, bumblebee and white. And there you go. So quite a nice mix. So that's the embellishment pack and they are £14. All of these will come in a little tub so that they are safe. And then these will come on a card so they're protected in a little cellophane bag. So that is the embellishments. So just to run through, you can buy the designer papers, you can buy the specialty pack or the embellishments. You can buy any combination of those. You could have two, for example, of those if you wanted. If you order all three, then the total is 65 pounds, but you get free delivery with that. And I, I know that Laura has already um, ordered her set. So well done, Laura. The bells are really cute. And the acorns and these. They're all nice. And all of these. Um, so that's my option for product shares. Now, obviously, if you want to just order a pack of the papers um, of your choice, then you can do that anyway. So if I had to pick my favourite papers, I think it would be the autumn ones, I can find them here. Although it could be the snow scene ones, <laughs> who knows. So you could just pick a pack of paper, so these are £14. So that's one side. I think these might be my favourite because I'm an autumn girl. Those are my autumn colours. And I'll show you the other side here. I just love these. Those three. Four. <laughs> even. So lovely. And go perfectly with the little acorns like so. So I hope that's been useful for you to see the products. You're welcome to join my share as long as you're in the UK. It doesn't matter if you're a demonstrator or a customer. Um, everybody's welcome to order. And as I say, delivery prices are on there. If you want to take advantage of that, I will be sending out an email later today to my um, customer base. But if you're not on my email list and you would like them, then just send me a message or comment on here and I can make contact with you for payment. So what I do need to do is collate the orders and then place the order and send them out to you. 
okay so i've taken up enough of your time that's um goodness me quarter to six so 45 minutes and then i was here for nearly an hour earlier so thank you so much for joining me if you haven't received a catalogue and you're in the UK and you don't have an existing demonstrator then by all means contact me if you have an existing demonstrator please do contact them first out of um, courtesy and request one from your local demonstrator or whoever you've purchased with in the recent past right time for me to crack on and get some card making done I will be back tomorrow 10 a.m with some more of the owls from Have a Hoot. So this is what we worked on this morning with some really si this morning, this afternoon, with some really simple cards, which are these ones here. So we'll be doing up so some stepped up versions of these using the dies tomorrow. Let me find the other one there we go so that's what we did this afternoon if you want to see those that's actually that one we did then just hop over to my um, you can stay on my Facebook page and click on videos or you can look to YouTube where that's already been uploaded and you can watch it from there thank you so much for joining me um, stay safe I look forward to catching some of you hopefully tomorrow um, I'll be here at 10 a.m. Thank you so much. Take care. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. And I hope you can keep crafting. Thank you. Bye-bye.